good boy. call you the miracle CEO. I don't know about that. Smithfield, General Mills, Kraft, all companies you helped transform. I think you forgot Baskin Robbins. I was famous for my triple scoop. <laughs> Background in agriculture, postgraduate degree in microbiology, an MBA. You are obviously well qualified, but that's not what sets you apart, now is it? <sighs> I like to be on the ground with the people. Like what you did in Sub-Saharan Africa. Well, it took me going over there and seeing the climate issues firsthand before I realized how badly we needed to do something about those droughts. And that's where Clinestra's drought-tolerant technology came from, which estimates to help millions of impoverished families, you say, within the next decade. I believe corporations have to do a better job putting the people's interests first. You see, man, you need a bus table seven. How we doing on that chicken, Charlie? Coming right up. You working a double today? You know it. Sorry about that wait, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Let me know if there's anything else I can get you, okay? No matter how we connect all of these pieces right here, the communication and how are we going to get that idea across, not just necessarily for new customers, but to uh, the chair of the board, uh, the chair of, of uh, the divisions, the, the, uh, the chair of the various departments. Communication in business involves some extra elements that are not present for us in our personal lives. You've gone out, done the research, you have gone to receive the data, you're trying to decide what the customers are, even if it's in-house, to the board, to the chair of a various division or various departments. They're calling it the deadly flu. Should you get a shot or not? It's the question everyone is asking. Hey, Mom. And Finally. Today, Brought home some, some food. What is it? Fried chicken. Oh, good, because my butt's not quite big enough. Mm. <laughs> the cyclones win? What? Cyclones win? Oh, I fell asleep. 42 to 7. <laughs> it's that rookie receiver. I was telling Charlie, it's like, it's got two left feet. <laughs> he go down okay? Mm -hmm. Once I pried that toy car out of his hand, went out cold. <laughs> what is it with boys and cars? Don't get me started. Mm -hmm.
In addition to donating seeds to your village, each of you will receive vouchers, which will allow you to buy more seeds and fertilizer at a discounted <laughs> cost. After many years of research, we have created seeds that are able to withstand stress from viruses, bacteria, adverse weather, soil conditions. By using our seeds, you're going to reap these added benefits. Plus, you'll see increases in the quantity of your crops to boot. What, what's happening? See, what the hell's happening? They are rebels. We must leave immediately. Blood pressure, temperature, all look good. Looks like he just has a case of the flu. It said on the news that it might be deadly or something, is that? I wouldn't worry too much about that stuff. That was just a couple cases, outliers. Your son looks like he has a fairly normal strain. So there's nothing else wrong with him? Not that I can see. Probably caught it at school. It's going around. Okay, thank you. Just make sure he stays hydrated, gets some rest, and he'll be fine in a couple days. Hear that chicken? <laughs> You're a very brave boy today. I love you. Oh, how are you gonna play me like that? How are you gonna play me like that? I said I love you. Love you. <gasps> Look at me and say it. Love you. That's better. <laughs> Mr. Owens. Oh, Christian, I forgot to tell you, I spoke with the contractors. We should be able to unveil the new wing in four weeks. Oh, about time. I'll put it in your calendar. She's going to be a beauty. Amazing what a multi-million dollar donation can do. That mean I get a raise? I don't think so. All right, I am grabbing dinner. Will you let me know if this transfer vector is successful? Yeah, let me know if there's a Jaguar D-type waiting on front for me. Never gonna happen. I don't know whose chances are worse. Me in this experiment, or you ever getting to drive one of those cars? Hey, one day. Charlie's, right? Yeah. I'm Eddie. Sophie. Nice to meet you, Sophie. Got a little boy or girl? Uh, boy. Me too. He's, uh, he's the man of the house. Is that so? There he is. See ya. school. Good. Yeah, what happened? I showed everybody my new football cards. Yeah, did they like them? Yeah, I needed a QB, so I traded Hank Lewis. Cool. Sam brought his cards too, they were really cool. What's going on with your arm? Uh, nothing. Why do you keep scratching it like that? I don't know. Stop Let me look at it. Oh my god, Garrett. This is really bad.
I, uh... uh Spit it out! John... John Leroy, attorney at law, you, uh, you called me about the men who, who are harassing you? You have been traveling on and off for the better part of the past year. You missed your son's birthday. Your mom went to the hospital twice. Who do you think went to visit her? This was expected. It's my first year heading the company, for Christ's sake. I, I, I have to show them what I've got. No, please. They know who they hired. Connie, this is science that's saving the world. Uh -huh. Wait, we're making broccoli with three times the vitamin C. Bananas with vaccines for hepatitis. Oh, it's a tough job. It takes time. It takes face time. You know who could use some face time? Your son. Can, can we at least talk about this? Okay, okay. That's enough, Mom. Oh, come on. It's breakfast in a tub. More milk. He's asking for more milk. As a mother, you're never going to hear that again. Hey, it said he's supposed to sit in the tub for half an hour with the oatmeal and the milk. Well, I just I washed all his sheets and clothes and stuff in case there's something that irritated his skin. He's gonna be fine, honey. He's a kid. Kids get sick. He's such a worry wart. <laughs> hey, there's something in my oatmeal. Taking him to the doctor two more times. I even took him to a dermatologist. I mean, it's cost me a fortune, but what am I gonna do? I can't just let him sit there when he's like this, you know? Of course not, you gotta do something. It's just nobody can figure out where the rash is coming from, Tammy. Like, he hasn't played in poison ivy. You know, n none of the other kids at school have it. You think it's that new flu? I don't know. I don't know, the symptoms seem different. All the soaps and shampoos are the same. Yeah, I haven't changed anything. He, he eats the same stuff, he wears the same clothes, he plays the same toys. Have you cleaned the house with any new products or anything like that? No, we haven't even had the exterminator come because we're trying to save money. Jeez, that's frustrating. I'm just... I mean, I'm just at a loss, you know? Because now he's saying his arms hurt. If you're all funny. Uh, okay. I just can't, my baby. I know, I know. Okay, calm down. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Hold on one second, okay? Charlie's, how can I help you? Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Bye. So, if you gotta get home now, go. Everything is fine. I gave him a small dosage of Ativan to calm him down. Okay, and what about his chest and arms? It seems to just be getting worse. We won't know anything until we get the lab results back, ma'am. Worst case scenario, it's the onset of an unusual skin disorder or a parasite of some sort, which is not totally uncommon, but I doubt it. Has your son been in contact with any animals? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I mean, unless he was at school, but I don't think so. Any history of disease in the family? I have diabetes. Okay. Well, that shouldn't have anything to do with it. I would recommend a dermatologist. Yeah, we've been, and he gave him a, a, a cream to help the itching. It hasn't done anything. Well, we took a blood sample, so we are send that to the lab to get tested and call you as soon as we get the results. Thank you. Thank you. Going to trial will cost you, most likely, more than you can afford, with no definitive outcome in your favor, and it could last years. I see you a glass half full kind of guy. Look, in the last 20 years, Clinestra has sued more than 800 family farms over patent infringement. 
They've got the money and the muscle to win. Uh, how do you patent life? I, I mean, honestly. It's hard to wrap your head around. I know. But in the early 80s, the courts ruled living organisms that had been genetically altered were eligible for patent protection. I mean, I mean, that's crazy. Crazy as it may be, I advise a settlement. It seems to me to be the most financially sound solution. And what would that mean? They would pay you a small sum in order to avoid trial. And in return, you agree to use their seeds moving forward and pay them an annual percentage. Right, the hell if I do that. In fact, I want to countersue them for harassment. Uh, these damn GMO cops come to my home before down snooping. They even got my neighbors spying for them. They give them a special 800 number to call if they see anyone reusing seeds. I'm so sorry. I'll never use their monster seeds. I work too hard to keep my organic certification all these years. And this is America. And, and I deserve my constitutional freedoms. Okay, so look, what would you like to do? They can believe me all they want, but I ain't giving in. What on earth are you doing? Hey, what about bed bugs? Remember Kathleen? She was itching and scratching for months and looked at her mattress, saw him crawling. But then we'd all be itching too. Can't see anything on the outside, but they could have just hatched. You know, it might not be a full blown infestation yet. Sophie! Sophie! It's gotta be bed bugs. I'm telling you, okay? I don't know what else it could be. The doctor called, said all the results came back negative. Will you stop it? Off of me! I know they're here! There is nothing there! They are small! You can't see them! Put those down now! You have to check now. everything everywhere! Put them down the now! The chairs! The couch! You, you are out of my bed! You are Get your out hands of off of me! I said! Let me look! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, just take a breath. You're jumping to every conclusion you can drum up. You're not an expert. The doctors know what they're doing. The doctors just say, it'll be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Just give them more antibiotics and it'll go away. But it's not going away. Antibiotics take time. Doctors are lazy, and I refuse to be a lazy parent. We have a little money left in our savings. I want to take him to a specialist. I don't care what it costs. Let's go. work rules out the majority of conclusions I would draw from his symptoms. You saying my son is making it up? I don't think he's making it up entirely. Clearly, he has a bad rash. But the hysteria could be linked to this rare condition where people falsely believe their skin to be infested with bugs. Is that like paranoia? Exactly. It, it's a psychological disorder, Miss Kessler, where the patient can often cause the symptoms themselves. Can I ask, is there any history of mental illness in your family? Yes, my father. Well, there are genetic traits. Have you yourself ever had any delusional episodes? When I was younger, but they went away.
Oh, excuse me. Hi. Can Hi. I help you? Uh, yes. Sorry. I just walk in like this. Um, my name's Sophie Kessler. My mom actually works for Dean Owens. Um, do you mind if I... No, please. Okay. Um, how can I help you? Um, well, my son um, has a really bad rash. And um, so I, I guess I was just wondering if you could maybe tell me a little bit about genetic modification or GMOs or whatever, just because I know that's a big part of the, the research that you do here at the school. Sophie? Yeah. Uh, Dean Richard Owens. Oh, hi. Hey, your mom told me you'd be stopping by today. You want to step into my office? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, this way. Thank you. So I looked it up online and um, I found this thing that said there was a, a theory that it could be connected to genetically modified food and, um, you know, that like a lot of the sufferers were people who live near GM fields and I, I know we do, so. Ah, the internet, a bastion of trusted science. Right. <laughs> I know, I just, uh... Genetically modified seeds are what help children, not, not hurt them. The research we're doing here for Clinestra has made rice so rich in vitamin A that it has saved thousands of children in India from going blind. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot you don't know. Excuse me, so Sophie, my name is Peter. I work in the lab and I overheard some of your conversation and I think I can help you. So we should talk, but not here. Right, just make sure you aren't followed. That's the whole basis of biotechnology. It's uh, changing the DNA to improve it, to create plants that are bigger, stronger, uh, insect repellent. Right, yeah, uh, Dean Owens was saying that they, they're, they're saving children all over the world because of it. Not yet, they're not. I mean, they could, don't get me wrong. They're just not there yet. You see, when you're inserting the material from viruses into an organism, you're going to get complications. Complications, like... Okay, so in the 90s, when GMOs were like flooding the market, Food-related illnesses doubled. Now, is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Now, almost 90% of corn and more than 90% of soybeans that are planted in the United States are genetically engineered. So it's just in everything. Exactly. And, you know, when you change the DNA of our food, you open up the possibility for all kinds of new allergies. So is that what you think my son has? A, a, it's like an allergic reaction or something? Yeah, children's immune systems, they're much more vulnerable than ours. I mean, you see, none of these genetically engineered crops have been tested on humans. Why not? Because the corporations are self-regulated. They hold no independent studies. No, with all this lobbying, cash at hand. Washington deregulated all the crops, so they don't have to do tests longer than 90 days or re release the raw data of their studies. They are the authority on the science. You get it? It's remarkable what you guys are doing. Thank you. I think we're close to a real achievement here. Well, almost. We're a little ways off. We're really happy with your work. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Jacob here tells me you like cars. I, I do. Well, we wanted to give you a little something as a token of our appreciation. Why don't you go and get your car a little upgrade? Okay, okay, but what, what about um, scientists who don't work for the corporations? There are a few, but they don't have the money or resources to be taken seriously. So their studies are mostly discredited. Okay, but those Clinestra studies, I mean, could you help me see those? Huh. See them? Uh, no. Uh, they're probably in a vault at 
Clonestra headquarters. I mean, they, they do have an office at the university. And do they keep files there too? Yes, for, you know, the, the studies that they finance through the school, but I, I don't have access to that. And even if I did, I wouldn't go near it. I just, I don't, um, how can there not be any other independent studies that, that matter? We're the guinea pigs, Sophie. And your son is the independent study. Closed. Doesn't say closed. Because I haven't turned the sign yet. Hi. I'll turn it for you if I can have a cup of coffee. I'll just keep looking into it, you know? See if I can find any answers. Hey, I'd do the same thing if my kid was sick. It's hard raising a kid on your own. Yeah. It must be for you, too. Yeah. This place have anything stronger than coffee? No. Charlie doesn't believe in it. You know, family restaurant and all that. <laughs> when do you need a drink more than when you're with your family? <laughs> yeah. So what do you say? Let's go get a nightcap somewhere else. My treat. Uh, no. I don't... <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, how many hours have you been on your feet? Oh, I've been on my feet since I was born. <laughs> there you go, then what are you talking about? Let's go. No, I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm actually three years sober. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like an ass. No, it's okay. There's no way for you to know. But that's, that's great. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, it wasn't good for a while. And then it got really bad, and uh, that's when my mom kind of took over. I mean, she had to. Yeah, you, you're lucky you have her. More lucky Garrett has her. He's pretty much the only reason I'm alive, so. Well, you gave him life. The least he could do is return the favor. Hi, my name is Sophie Kessler. Uh, I was just uh, wondering if you could tell me a little bit about your uh, minimum basic coverage plan. Supplemental Health Insurance Department. Can I put you on hold and then I transfer you to the individual medical department? Uh, okay. Ma'am, can I please put you on hold? Yeah, I'll hold. Yeah, n no, I was just uh, wanted to know about the just the premiums. Okay, this is it. it it's an emergency. So the circumstances are actually not a pre-existing condition, correct? Yes, so I need to know I well, no, I I missed the open enrollment, okay. but I well, then no we need to because for special can you please not actually transfer me? I I I've, I've, I've okay.
Hello? Uh, hi, is this Prairie Organic Farms? Uh, pra- I'm looking for Prairie Organic Farms. Prairie Organic Farms? No, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, what number were you calling? organic food oh. what are you some kind of decoy excuse me you work for them who yeah, don't play games with me lady the GMO cops will keep coming on my land I don't I'm sorry I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> oh they're really good <laughs> hey, hey so, so what do you want me to show you would you like to see where all the seeds are hidden? I, I think there's been some uh, miscommunication. See, I'm here because I think my son might be sick because of GMOs. And I just feel like I need to feed him something nutritious while he's on all these antibiotics. Yeah, doctors dole out that crap like it's candy. <laughs> they don't even know what it is he's got, but I mean, I just don't know what else to give him. Uh, well, you think it's, it's the food he's eating? It's one possibility. I'm not sure. Uh, well, I got my organic certification 30 years ago. Yeah, now, well, well, I may be organic, but this is farm country. Okay. You know, I got a 25-foot buffer between this GMO farm and mine, you know? Yeah, I'm surrounded by conventional farms, and not only uh, putting pesticides in the plants we eat, in, but they're, they're spraying chemicals in the air we, we breathe. Uh, what happens when it rains? Huh? I mean, wh- how toxic is that crap that's just coming down in our atmosphere? You, you get what I mean? Yeah.
prisoners. There was something on my arm. What'd you do? Did you scratch yourself? No, there was some there was something on my arm, arm before. What happened? What is it? No, no, it's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. You have a minute? Yeah, come in. I got good news. The FDA is close to pushing through our approvals on the avian transgene. You're kidding. I'm straight as an arrow. So they managed to work out all the kinks? It's ready to go. This is a major breakthrough, Dan. Hi. Mom? Garrett? for your work, we truly are. But the research is no longer yours to explore. Uh, with, with all due respect, we found the marker gene. Yes, and with all due respect, we own the patent. But we started the research at the university. Search. Exactly. Started. So after we gave you your grant, in case you didn't read the fine print, you signed over your patent rights. No, we didn't. Did we? Search. We own 80% of the biotech patents in this country. You willingly share the information from your trials, and you are well compensated for it. Uh, Jeff, it's been one, a one second. Look, we engineered this virus, and may it may have reconstituted. It may be active. I highly doubt that. But you don't understand. We're talking about a I'm sorry, I am. But please pack up all your files by the end of the week. Your work here is done. Congratulations. Your mother has a minor concussion, and her blood sugar levels are through the roof. <sighs> Yeah, she must have just forgotten her insulin shot. Is she going to be okay? We're going to need to keep her here for at least a few days to monitor her progress. Mom, what happened? Oh, no. She had ice cream. Oh, come on. I told you to stop eating that crap. Please don't mother me. Well, you refuse to change. Well, that's one of the perks of being an adult. I am who I am. I am trying to help you, Mom. Just help Garrett. I'll take care of myself. Ain't nothing I could do. Where'd they come from? I, I told you, the seed company. How you figure? But I, I, I don't know. I mean, they sell both GMO and non-GMO seeds. They, they, they must have crossed, contaminated them, and they got mixed with my plot. But look, it, it, it ain't my fault. You know, I, I, I didn't, I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but how the GMOs got onto your land isn't our concern. It's the fact that they're yeah, here. This, this, this swamp. It's been in my family for five generations. Five generations. Hey, I've been 30 years of work to, to make an organic farm. And the mistake of one seed company is it poisoned at all? It, it doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. It's all I got. I can barely play the lawyer to fight these people. It's all I got. Sir, I'm just doing my job. Now, it's not that we don't care about farmers, but we have to preserve our relationship with our consumers. It's all I got. Oh, 
be here. Oh, these are, these are definitely bad. I want french fries. Corn syrup, I remember that. Let's see, how I get that. No, uh, uh, I'm gonna find you something else. I just need to, uh. I want french fries. You're not getting french fries today, okay? I'm gonna find you something else. Just give me a minute. Bill Pyle. Yeah, Bill Pyle. I'm sorry, Mommy. Hey, this is not your fault, okay? Okay. None of this is your fault. Okay. You hear me? Yes. I'm not disagreeing with you. In fact, there have been a number of class action lawsuits against Clonestra, but they have been in regards to the nuclear and the chemical plants. Those cases have mostly been settled. Okay, and why not their food? Well, with Clonestra's production of Agent Orange, for example. If the people in the town where the plant is based have an overwhelming propensity towards cancer, it can be directly correlated to the plant producing known carcinogens. Okay, and if my son has a rare disease that can be traced back to GM food, how is that any different? Because GM foods in this country do not require labeling. So from a legal standpoint, it would be incredibly difficult for you to prove an illness and trace it back to the GM process. And you can't prove that the food your son consumed was GM. At this point, your case is intriguing, but it's all based on conjecture. You're going to need hard evidence for it to stand in a court of law. Be nice. He's not contagious. All right, only be a couple hours, okay? Yeah, no problem. All right, thank you. Can I ask what it is that you're doing? I'm gonna nail him. Nail who? Clinestra. I can get access to the lab reports and prove the food is toxic. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sophie! Hey! Come on, boys. You said you know where the records are, the, the reports that can prove the seats are unsafe? Yeah, but it's a little more complicated than that. I mean, you can't just walk in and take them. There's like security, the keys. Like these? Where'd you get those? My mom works for the dean. Okay, wow. Please. I'm desperate, okay? I, 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 I need hard evidence and this is my only hope right now. You in or not?
shit, it's not here. Oh, well, my mom's been secretary to the dean for over 20 years. And, um, she's sick, which makes her crazy. Um, so, you know, she hasn't missed a day since I was 16. So you're saying she sent you? She, well, she said that if she had her files, maybe she could do work from home. And uh, so I offered to get them. Give me your keys. So why'd you bring the guy? Uh, he's a scientist at the university. I would, just, I would have had no idea where her files were. So I asked him to come with me. Sit tight. So your story checks out. Unfortunately, your friends doesn't. I'm sorry? Peter Landau is not a scientist at the university. What do you mean? He's a janitor. What? Mr. Hardy, your company contracts over five thousand broiler farms across the country. About how long does it take your chickens to reach market weight? On average, 16, 17 weeks. Clonestra is developing genetic technology that causes rapid muscle growth in broiler chickens. Our ch chickens can reach market weight in five weeks. <laughs> what is that, some kind of divine intervention? Genetic modification is nothing new. We we have been crossbreeding plants for millennia. Where do you think we get broccoli or, or cauliflower or cabbage from? It all comes from one species of wild mustard that humans crossbred through traditional genetic mutation. Our modern methods are just more precise. What, what exactly are those methods? All you need to understand are three things. Efficiency, better production, and more profit. Here, take your time to read this over. You can sign it whenever you're ready. He was a scientist. He had a psychological breakdown in 2001. Well, like I said, there's a lot of crazy people. Hold on, look at this. Peter Landau was in the midst of breakthrough biotechnology research, but due to mental instability, was removed from his post. <sighs> Doesn't mean he was wrong. Definitely colors his research. Hold on, I gotta show you these articles I printed up at school. Hold on. Look at this. There are all these other parents talking about their kids having similar symptoms. And they don't know where they're coming from either. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not the only one. And then... Sophie, please. Just take a break, okay? You've gotten yourself into enough trouble. My dad uh, had a mental breakdown, so I just get kind of worked up about these things. It's okay. Did he get help? No. He ended his life. Oh. When I was 16. Sorry. It's a long time ago. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, no, no, no. It's, uh. I'm sorry. I just haven't been with, with anyone, you know, since I had Garrett, so. No, it's okay. I, I understand. I haven't been with anyone for a while either, so. Where's his, uh. his dad? Don't know. If you, if you don't want to talk, if... It's okay. We were just really young, you know, high school sweethearts, and... He got recruited to be a QB at Ohio, and just... He got caught up in all that, so...
you get this piece of paper? Jacob, you know this isn't bulletproof. This university used to get most of its scientific funding from the USDA. Now it gets it from corporations. So we adjust. I have been doing research for Clinestro on and off for the last 15 years, starting with the first variety of corn in 2002. And I found things that were not within their line of questioning. What did you find? It doesn't matter. The kind of research that you want to do, it's a hard sell no matter where you are. This is a different landscape. What the fuck is this? Looks like a drawing. Where did you get the stationery? Oh, I... Who knows? I... I... I, I... I don't know, that could be from anywhere. They don't have this town. Did you really drive all the way over here to ask me that? Where's Garrett? It's in the car. Oh my god. What? So if you follow me in that car, it's the same car. I can explain, okay? Just... I thought I was going crazy. You're one of them, you're one of those GMO cops? Sophie? Peter knew where those files were and you, you warned them I was coming. You warned them to move the files. No, I, I, di I, I didn't. Listen, I didn't, Sophie. I didn't, I was just trying, I was just trying to do... Uh, please, come in. Thank you. So, Jeff tells me you're having some problems with your associate. Serge. Hi, I'd like to request a restraining order. Okay, please have a seat. Someone will be with you. Listen, can you clean out that chicken coop before you leave? Clinestro wants us to have everything all neat and tidy when we wrap things up. Sure. See you tomorrow, Hot Rod.
I was just gonna call you. You forgot your keys? I was uh, setting my report on your desk, so I'm sitting there. So. Before I was born, Mom, you had to put up with him. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me. Hi. Is Hal here? I'm sorry, he isn't. Okay, well, can you tell him that I stopped by? Yeah, I can't do that. My father had a heart attack two days ago. Whoa. Is he okay? I'm afraid he's not. He, uh... He didn't make it. I'm so sorry. So you don't remember? No, I'm sorry. Well, are you sure? She was here because her son was sick, a bad rash, spoke to Richard for a while. No, I'm sorry. I just don't remember. Thanks. But you know I'm just filling in for Kristen while she's out sick. I know she has a daughter with a son. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. asking. My name is Serge Negani. I work at the science department of the university. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you. But I have some information that I think would be helpful. I was burned by one of you guys before and I got in a lot of trouble for it, so please, I, 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 I can't talk to you right now. Okay, okay, uh, wait, I, I just... I, I please, just I cannot know. talk to you. I am done with all that. Do not ever call here again. Was that, mommy? It was nobody, baby. Okay. Go, go to your room. Starving. He's going to Geno's. Again? Dude, for an Irish guy, you eat a lot of pizza. What, am I supposed to eat fucking potatoes all day? Come on, I'm hungry. Uh, I just got off the phone with corporate. What's going on? What's up? Nothing big. I only need one of you. Eddie. Nah, I'm, I'm good. What you mean you good? Since when do you turn down a handout? Since now. Well, you got something better to do? I need the money, man. I'll do it. Damn right you do. Some of us got kids we got to feed. Later. Still stopping at Gino's on the way, though.
This wasn't supposed to happen, man. We were just supposed to fuck with him, man. Back in the car. Get back in the car. We gotta get out of here. You're not sleepy. How about I tell you a story? Once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived on a farm. There were goats and chickens and cows. You told and... the story before. Oh, well. You tell the same story every time. Well, this was the story that my daddy used to tell tell me when I couldn't sleep. Mm. Try, try saying something different. Who is it? She called you. What time is it? Oh, doesn't matter. I took a cab. Been drinking. So, sweetie, when was the last time you left the house? I don't know. Garrett, buddy? You hungry? No. He won't eat. His stomach hurts. Here, eat that. I can't. What's going on? delusions again. Now I'm afraid that what Garrett's having to, that's what Dad had. Hey, you are not your father. How do you know? <laughs> there has been a development in the car crash off Interstate 35 last night. Police have identified the victim as Serge Nagani a researcher at the State University. He was pronounced dead upon impact. We will have more details oh, as we right. What did they say his name was? Serge Nagani. Oh my God. What? He called me. What are you talking about? He called me. He, he, he called and asked to speak to me and I hung up on him. Okay, relax. Why was he calling you? No, he said, um... He said he wanted to talk to me about something important, that, that he was a scientist at the university. But why would he call you? Maybe he had something important to tell me, something about Garrett. I mean, I, where's the phone? Oh, Sophie, please. No more conspiracy what, theories. You don't think there's some connection, that, 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 that there's some reason he called me? Yeah, Sophie, stupid. I think that... I should just talk to him. There has to be a reason. Can there's you please number. stop? Enough! 
you're not well. You're acting paranoid. You said it yourself. You're having delusions. I've seen it all before. I was married to it. I think you should go back on your medication. For your sake. It's just a dream. Just a bad dream. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Just a bad dream. Where are you going? I have to take care of something. I'll be back. I'm not sure that's a good idea just yet. His grandfather was a farmer in India. He would spend every summer on that farm as a kid. But then one summer, his grandfather started using the GM seats. All the farmers did in his village. And what happened? They were bankrupted. Their crops died and were destroyed and they had nothing left. They drank the pesticides in protest. Jesus, and, and um, those were the clonestra seeds. When, when Serge was offered the job to do research for them through the university, he was obviously conflicted. But he felt like maybe he could be the one to improve the science in his grandfather's honor. <laughs> I just don't understand understand how this could have happened. He's never gotten into one accident his whole life. It's terrible. I, um, I didn't get to talk to him before he left. I was working an all-nighter at the hospital. Did he call or, or say anything? No. No note or anything. But, um, but there was one strange thing. What? In, in the garage, he took the spare tire out of his car. You have any idea where he was headed before the accident? No. Where's his car now? They took it to the scrap metal yard after it was destroyed in the crash. Okay. Oh my God. What is it? What does it say? My address.
for a white Camaro. Do you have an appointment? No, but uh, I have the key. I'm sorry, but you have to have an appointment. Please. This is very, very important. I'm sorry. You'll just have to come back. Ma'am, please, look at me. I am begging you. Please. Everybody is going to lunch now. If you would just please... Hey! You can't go back there! Thank you. Yeah. You need something? Yeah, can I, can I just get in, in that car? Yeah. Okay. You got a hell of an arm. Yeah. I watch a lot of football. Yeah, I gotta find something here. the spare tire be in this car? Uh, usually they're right over here. Find what you're looking for? Yes. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. I just can't believe it. I don't understand why Richard allowed these testings to be shelved. Well, for one thing, he's on Clinester's board of directors. Mm -hmm. That's why the wing. That's why a lot of things. Hey, kiddo. I'm sorry I didn't have more faith in you. Weird, you know, my whole life I never really knew what I wanted to be. Like even in kindergarten, everyone had all these crazy dreams to be like the president or a veterinarian. And I just never did. You like sports? Yeah, but I could never play them. I was always just watching, you know. And now I just feel like I've, I don't know, like I've been just sitting in the bleachers, watching my whole life go by. Why don't we give these reports to the newspaper? Mm. Clinestra, could, their PR could crush a story this damaging. I just, no. Are you expecting someone? No. Put all the files away. Put them in the closet or something. Who is it? It's Eddie. Go away. I need to talk to you. I said go away. I'm not interested. Please, it's important. Eddie, don't make me call the police. Just give me a minute. You're a fucking liar and an accomplice. He's sick. Sophie? My son Tommy. He's sick. Do you believe me now? So, 
You were one of those assholes who goes and bullies people Clinestra doesn't like. I was, yes. They recruited me from the police force. It was better hours, better pay. But I hated it. I felt like I went from helping people to hurting people. And now what? I'm quitting. Well, I want to help. I want to make this right. How, how do you want to do that? Excuse me, sir. I'm here for the press conference. You're just going to want to go out those doors. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that's here, 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 here. Let, let me help you with that. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. 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 Look at Hey, uh, you're late, man. Come on. You are on uh, farmer duty, room 1016. You gotta make sure everybody's got their credentials in order. Who is this? Um, she's she's with. I'm supposed to um, meet my husband here. He's a poultry farmer. Security told me room 1016. I want my daddy. Yeah, Eddie. Show him up to the Test, test. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in just a few moments, we're going to get started. Thank you for your patience. Where's Dan? Uh, he's just finishing up with the poultry guys upstairs. New York Times has to take off in 30 minutes. This has to happen now. This is just the beginning, Mr. Hardy. Uh, I hope so, Mr. Conway. I, I, I really appreciate you bringing so many of your contracted farmers here today. It helps to put a face on announcements like these. I'm proud to have so many farmers with me because this is really about the farmers. Well, they're really excited to meet you, sir. W where are they? They're in the conference room, Mr. Conway. I'm afraid we'll have to make the meet and greet quick, though. We're running behind. Well, let's get to it. Farmers are actually in room 1026. It's my mistake. This way. After you. You gotta come down right now. We gotta start this press conference or we're gonna lose our top reporters. I need to meet with the farmers first, then we'll all come down together. I want them on stage with me. Well, I'll greet the farmers and I'll bring them down immediately. You'll have enough people to greet downstairs. I'll get them on stage with you, I promise. Just go. See you shortly. I'll be right with you. Who are you? You're not Mr. Conway. No, I'm not. Now I asked you a question. Security? Hey, 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 security! Hey, so don't security. Me. Hey, hold on. Get, get out of my hold way. On. Hey! Security! Security! Hey!
what it's like to feel helpless as a parent. I was hoping that I could speak with you about our children. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am, but I have a press conference I need to attend. Sir. Where did you get this? It doesn't matter. What matters is what you can do about it. Security? Yeah. Hold, hold it. What the hell's going on here? Just give me a second. I've never been shown these documents, Jeff. Please. I understand the corn was long before your time, but the chicken? I mean, that's some pretty scary stuff. Do you really feel that that's ready to be sold in supermarkets? I, look, I think modern industrial farming helps farmers. No. With all due respect, modern industrial farming helps you. You are bleeding farmers dry. These studies were flawed. They were early on in our process. They used rats prone to tumors. They, they shelved the studies. You know that the, the first study linking smoking to cancer was published in 1950, but it took almost 50 years for the tobacco companies to, to connect cigarettes to cancer to admit that it was killing us. Remind me, when was the first GM crop introduced on the market? 1996. So by that model, we won't have labels on GM food until, what, 2040? I'm not willing to wait that long, are you? Dan, we have to get out there now. This is utter nonsense. Allergy. Rates have increased by almost 50% since GMOs were introduced onto the market. Conjecture does not prove causality, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. I'm not... I'm not saying that. I, I'm just saying... Why not... label the food then, so, so that at least we have the freedom to know what it is we're eating? I mean, what is there to hide? Nothing. We completely support voluntary labeling, if that's what they want to do. We just don't believe in a federal mandate. Then why are you suing states who are trying to pass labeling laws? Look. Mr. Conway, please. I believe you are a reasonable man. It's time to start connecting the dots, money and, and politics and all that other stuff aside. What matters is our children and their children and their children's children in the years to come. It's okay. Why wasn't I shown his lab results? As I said, they were inconclusive and flawed. These were minor side effects. Why wasn't I shown these results? Dan, this is classic activist rhetoric. She's hysterical. She's a hysterical woman with a sick son. She has no arguments that we haven't heard before. Those tests were disregarded for a reason. As are the speculations about the chicken. That's all they are. Speculation. It's not science. The press is waiting. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure this is all taken care of. Transgenic chicken is headed to a supermarket near you. What sounds like science fiction may just be the way of the future. Clonestra CEO Dan Conway has resigned after only one year heading the world's leading biotech giant. Do you have a comment on the GM chicken? Well, there's uh, certainly a lot to consider. I, I have many questions. Uh, I'm sorry, that's all I can say for now. 
a surprising admission that could set the world of agribusiness ablaze. Could a viral video be to blame? And that report right there, by one of your top scientists, the, food. the showdown between Ms. Kessler and former Clonestra CEO Dan Conway was all caught on a camera phone by none other than her mother, which already has 10 million hits on YouTube. The subsequent admission from Clonestra has reignited the debate in Washington, putting the spotlight on the next congressional vote over whether to label genetically modified food, which could set a new legal precedent come November. engineer a new food right, and you change the molecular structure of that food you can introduce a new protein and sometimes a protein could be a new allergen they're in 80 percent of the food we eat but some say genetically modified organisms pose serious health risks some of the outrage was sparked by these shocking photos showing massive tumors that developed on these rats after they ate genetically modified corn over their lifetimes. Today, Azevedo's big worry is keeping alfalfa hay, the best feed for producing milk, from being contaminated by nearby genetically modified or GMO crops. If alfalfa seed gets contaminated, we're out of business. The contamination happens when these seeds drift from one farmer's land onto another. It's a dispute that has already resulted in huge court battles between conventional farmers and biotech companies. In the last 10 years, farmers have sued for over a billion dollars in losses. Most of these crops are, are meant, uh, are engineered to withstand uh, glyphosate. And so uh, what we're finding now is glyphosate is now in our water supply. We're seeing it show up in uh, breast milk of, of nursing mothers. Mm. And so I think from an environmental standpoint, there is a real, a real risk involved here. What you need to know is the FDA has actually never made a conclusion, except for the Flavor Saver tomato, about the safety of any of these crops. All they do is they say that the companies say that they're safe. We're one of the few developed countries, or perhaps the only developed country, that does not require safety testing before these crops are on the market. And so if you want to know whether they're safe, you have to do the proper studies. We haven't done that, so it's like our population is a guinea pig. Here's what I'll do as president. I'll immediately implement country of origin labeling because Americans should know where their food comes from. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. 